Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna answer a question we get asked a lot about, keto chow. What's the best flavor? No, does it cost too much? Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So today we're gonna answer the question, does Keto Chow cost too much money? And to answer your earlier question. Chocolate toffee. The answer is root beer float. Chocolate toffee. You don't even have chocolate toffee in front of you. Because it's very hard for us to even keep it in stock in our house. Okay, so we're not gonna answer the question which one tastes better, chocolate root beer toffee. float. But uh, we are gonna talk about does it cost too much money because that is something that we get asked a lot or people state a lot within our family group. Like, yeah. I think it costs too much money. And if you've been around our channel for a while, you know we love Keto Chow, but it wasn't always that way. And we left the very first video we ever did up because you need to see the progression in our thoughts. Yeah. Because at first we thought it's too high in carbs, it's you know too much money because we were focused on using um, either heavy whipping cream or avocado oil as the fat that you add to the shake. Right, there were things about it we loved like the fact that you got to determine your own fat but we felt like heavy whipping cream which is what tastes best was gonna add way too many carbs to it, and avocado oil was just expensive. We also weren't comparing it to everything else, like the time saved in using it, as well as like the time saved when you're like going out and having to cook everything, and the fact that each keto chow shake gives you one third of all of the nutrients, the vitamins, and the electrolytes that you're gonna need in the day. One of the turnarounds for us in our thinking was when we discovered one of the fat sources that you could use is butter. Yes, butter is what changed everything because it made it very inexpensive. And that is what we use primarily Primarily when we're making Keto Chow. Now I wanna start off right here. We are affiliates of Keto Chow. So if you use our link below, you, we will make a few dollars to help support the channel. Also, Keto Chow is sponsoring this video. We were thinking about this idea and we went to them and they're like, absolutely, we'd love to sponsor the video, but with that being said, we're going to give you our honest opinion. Man, and sometimes they're rough, yes, right? They were rough in the very first video we did for Keto Chow. Yeah, so, we're honest. So we're gonna compare it to cooking at home, we're gonna compare it to going out to eat, we're also gonna compare it to a dessert because a lot of people think about like Keto Chow just as a meal, but you can also use it as a dessert and get some of your electrolytes and some of your calories in that way. In a very fun way. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is, we're gonna start off with, by making a bunch of Keto Chows, and we're gonna make seven of them. We're gonna make three a piece for, like that would be a day for each of us. Right. As well as one extra one using heavy whipping cream to make it into an ice cream. Now before we get into that though, let's go over the price of Keto Chow because then we're gonna go food shopping and we're gonna go out to some fast food restaurants and we're gonna talk about the prices there. So here, you can get Keto Chow two different ways. You can get it in a sample packet. That's another good flavor. Like this. Yeah, this is probably the best flavor right now, but it's a limited edition. Okay, so you can get it like this. This is gonna be $4.75. When should you buy the sample packet? When you wanna try a brand new flavor that you've never tried before? Yeah, you're not sure you're gonna love it. Or maybe you just need something to like throw in your backpack, throw in your briefcase, throw in your purse, and you wanna have something to go to work or maybe camping. Something as like an emergency and you can't carry this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is $4.75 for one meal. If you buy this way, it's $70 for the bag. That's 21 meals. Which breaks down to $3.33 per meal, which is now pretty cheap. Now add the butter. We have to add our fat source. So like I said, we use butter primarily. So you're gonna use a melted butter and they have tons of videos on how to use it with melted butter. So I'm not gonna get into that. But to do the melted butter, you figure, if you use a half a stick of butter, that is going to be 400 calories, plus for example, this is 131 calories for a scoop. 
that one's 118. So you're gonna be roughly 525, 540 calories, depending on the flavor. Right. If you do a half a stick of butter, and again, you control the amount. Um, so figure what? Four sticks of butter is about $3 in most stores. So what does that work out to be? About what, 35 cents for a half a stick of butter. So add that to the price. So if you buy the 21 bag, 21 meal bag, you're less than $4 for your meal. So if you went for the whole day, you'd be at $12 for all of your nutrition for the entire day. But that is perfect nutrition. Right. Perfect amount of electrolytes, which you're not normally getting. You know, you can get very lopsided meals if you're just throwing the meal to your, you know, for yourself. Right. But yeah, like, that's that's pretty cheap. Now we're gonna kind of throw the electrolyte aspect out because if you're missing your minerals and you're using regular food, you can very simply add them back in with like the Keto Chow Daily Mineral Drops that Dr. Barry helped design and that's gonna cost you like 85 cents a day. There you go. Also, by the way, all of these prices are without discounts. So you can use our link down below. That's gonna get you 10% off. And also, if you, if you get the flavor of the week, you that's get another 10% off. And you can stack those, but we're not gonna count that. We're gonna go by full price. I think that's the fairest way to do this. I do too. Okay, so we're gonna start off right now by making a bunch of keto chows. So when we make keto chow, we make three meals at a time. And since we're using melted butter, we're gonna make it in our Vitamix because it's just, first of all, faster and get a nice blend. So what we're gonna do is, I've got Rachel's phone here. We're going to start a timer and we're gonna see how long does it take to make six plus another one with heavy cream. Okay, so we have it paused right now, six minutes and 37 seconds. That gave us six meals. So this right here, that's an entire day's meal for us. 16, about 1600 calories right here. Delicious you wanna ones. increase the calories, just add some more butter or heavy cream. We're gonna make one more and that's gonna be with heavy cream. And the reason we're gonna use heavy cream, heavy cream makes the best keto chow ice cream. Yes, it does. So what we're gonna do, we got this at Sam's Club. This was $2.69. That was crazy cheap. So we're gonna do four ounces of heavy cream which is gonna be 400 calories. I'm gonna put that in there, and then we're just gonna fill this up with water. So I'll be right back. Okay, now the best flavor for Keto Chow ice cream, I mean, there are a lot of them make good flavor, like Root Beer Float makes a really good ice cream. Pistachio. Pistachio makes a good ice cream. But in my personal opinion, the best flavor for Keto Chow for ice cream? Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter. So go ahead and grab that over there. We're gonna put these to the side. Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut By the way, if I know ever, somebody's gonna comment where are you getting these? Better Homes and Garden and contain gar, Better Homes and Garden containers. We get them from Walmart. These are the 11 and a half cup containers and it fits one bag of keto chow perfectly. perfectly. Okay, so we're gonna do a full scoop of this. Now the reason I think chocolate peanut butter makes the best flavor is number one, it's a good flavor. It's fatty. But it's got extra fat in it. Yeah. So the extra fat just makes the, peanut, the ice cream better. Now what we're gonna do, I made a little bit of a mess here. As always. We're gonna let Rachel, make sure you snap the lid. Yes, we've done that before. Go ahead and give it a good shake. Shake, shake, leak, leak. Avocado. This is my avocado. Probably good. Now you could do this in a blender. Why didn't we do that? I don't know. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop right there. Okay. Stop. Eight minutes, 24 seconds. That also kind of included us screwing around a little bit. Yeah. I mean, basically you can say this is a couple's meal for the day because you got about 1600 calories a piece. That? Plus you've got another like dessert here, which you're gonna see when we actually make it is giant. So more than enough for two people, but that would be another like 600 calories in there. So 300, you said 1900 calories a piece. Right. Here we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator, let it chill. We're gonna head off to the store and we're gonna go shopping for all of the rest of the food. And we're also gonna stop at a fast food restaurant and pick up some stuff. And we're gonna time each aspect of it. Right. Okay, we just finished shopping in Publix. We hit stop, 23 minutes. And then we'll add five more minutes for getting back home because we're now gonna go get bunless burgers and compare that price and nutrition. But figure 27 minutes. Okay, so we just picked up our five guys and uh, 
This doesn't look very... There's not a lot in that bag. It doesn't look very satisfying. We're going to show this. We'll show everything at home. This is a lettuce wrap burger. It was over $10. So we did all of the food shopping. We've gone to Five Guys. We're going to do Wendy's. Right. And get a Baconator with no bun. And then... Another option that you would use keto chow for is a breakfast grab and go. So we're going to run through McDonald's and get some McDonald's breakfast food. Because they got breakfast all day. Okay, fast food section. We went to three places. This could be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yep. So we're going to start off with breakfast because I think a lot of people would use keto chow, ourselves included, to replace breakfast. Uh, spent about 10 minutes getting breakfast. And uh, this is what we got. We got two Egg McMuffins because the bottom line is like one is definitely not going to be enough. Especially with no bun. And this is two Egg McMuffins, no muffin. No muffin. And the price of this, $7.78. It had been a while since we had purchased fast food. So we were interested to see what you got for the money. Ready for this one? Put the nutrition here along the bottom for two egg McMuffins with no muffin. Mm -hmm. 320 calories, 22 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein, and six total carbs. So to be fair, you really need to add a third one in to equal one keto chow. Right. So now we'd be at about 11, almost $12 because you'd need three egg McMuffins to equal the nutrition of one keto chow, and now we're just talking about your macros, calories, fat, carbohydrates, and protein. We're not even adding in the vitamins, the electrolytes, and the minerals. If you wanna do that, you're gonna to have to add in at least one serving of the daily minerals that will cost you another 80 cents for the day. I think I would need probably three of them anyway. Okay, I think this is the saddest one of them all. It's called a Baconator. I'm expecting Arnold Schwarzenegger to be in there, like a Terminator, Baconator, a formidable opponent. Okay, so this is a single Baconator. Where are they even getting bacon that tiny? I don't know, but the, it was hard to figure out the nutrition on this, and I don't think the website's completely right. So we're going to go with my assumptions because the website says this is 730 calories. I don't think that's possible. I feel like the website's saying that's for a double. Okay. So we're going to go with half because that would be about right. So we're going to say this is about 350 calories, about 26 grams of fat, about 26 grams of protein, and about two carbs based on the cheese and everything. But this is the part. $5.99. Six dollars keto chow less than five dollars six dollars i am not getting full on that 200 calories more i need at least three of these there's no way we can afford that that's like 18 dollars. that would be 18 dollars if you got three of those last one this one decent size i'm pretty impressed with Okay, so Five Guys gives you an option. You can have it in a bowl or you can have it as a wrap. We chose the wrap just because we're looking at on-the-go options, right. right? Keto chow on the go. I can eat this at my desk. I can eat this at my desk. I can eat this in the car. Right. Right? So we got nice pieces of lettuce here. We did get it with some pickles on there. Because I like pickles. It's a double cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger. So it's two patties. I do think they use American cheese, so not the cleanest ingredient. And then there's some bacon on there. I think they put two slices of bacon. So not too bad. If you're interested in nutrition and this one here, this is without the bun, 754 calories, 47 grams of fat, 40 grams of protein, and the carbs are whatever is in the lettuce, so maybe one or two carbs. Right. So I feel like you're in a good comparison here but what is the to price? a keto chow as far as nutrition couple hundred calories more but not too bad we got the bacon cheeseburger but i feel like i would at least get full on this us. is gonna fill me up yeah okay so this is the best comparison so far ten dollars and 46 cents and they they cook to order so we had to order it online, and then drive over there to get it. That's the fastest way to get that it. That was the fastest way to get it. And 
I don't remember off the top of my head. You guys saw it. It's, that's about a 20-minute round trip whole kind of deal. So it's like a 20 minutes and then $11 almost right. for this burger. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. That's the fast food option. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the kitchen and we're going to make some regular food and compare keto chow to regular food and see which one's cheaper and also which one's more convenient. I'm going to tell you right now, this looks way better than what we got from McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Bacon and eggs. The bacon container is empty because I put them into our silicone containers. We have eggs. Now, Let's start this off. Can you get cheaper eggs than this? Yeah. Yes, you can. The quality's not going to be as good. They're not going to taste as good. We did get these because they were on sale. These were normally like $8 a dozen and they were on sale for $6 a dozen. These are probably the best pasture-raised eggs we ever buy when they go on sale because the yolks, I mean, it is like the orangest of orange of orange. They are really good. Okay, here we go. Three eggs, four slices of the Jimmy Dean bacon, which was on sale. This is a proper length of bacon. That is a proper length of bacon. Here's the cost of, first let's go over nutrition on this. Very similar to keto chow. 490 calories for three eggs, four slices of bacon, 39 grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, zero total carbohydrates. Technically, there's carbs in the eggs, so if you really want to get technical, there is three carbs or almost three carbs within the eggs. Right. We don't ever worry about those, okay? Because you can't get less than that. Yeah. So pretty good nutrition there. Very similar to a 500 calorie keto chow. $1.50 for the eggs based on these being on sale. 50 cents an egg. Yes. $1.50 for the eggs. The bacon was on sale for $5 for a package. There's seven servings in a package. We're eating two servings. That's another $1.50. So servings? this meal, three bucks. Okay. So we're slightly cheaper than keto chow. The only thing you are missing is some of the electrolytes and the minerals and things like that. But again, 80 cents, take some of the daily minerals, you're right back in there. And still under budget of a keto chow. How long did it take you though? It took me 14 minutes and 40 seconds to cook the meal. That does not include cleaning the pan, but honestly, we have a very simple wipeout pan for the eggs and- Cast iron. The bacon is cooked in cast iron, so it's literally dump the bacon juice, the bacon grease into a container and then wipe it with a paper towel. So you wanna tack one more minute onto for cleanup because that's about minutes. how long it's gonna take us. So 15 minutes from cooking it till cleaning the pans. Now this is the simplest meal I can think of right. in 15 minutes. And it's the closest nutrition you're gonna get. Next part of the home cooked comparison. Yes. We've got a burger, we showed these to you before. It's the bacon cheddar burger from Sam's Club. I don't remember the exact nutrition. We'll put it down here below, but I showed it to you before. You gotta buy them though. You do have to go buy them. They gotta be there. And you gotta keep them in your house, which we always do, but that's why we went that way. We also always top our burgers with an egg, so we put that on top. The egg is gonna bring you up close to the keto chow nutrition because the burger I know is about 450 calories, the egg is 70, so now you're right up about 520. So not bad. Cost-wise, you're looking at $1.33 for the burger, not including having to go buy it, keep it in your freezer, mm -hmm. 50 cents for the egg if you use a decent pasture-raised egg. So you're at $1.85, roughly $2. Not too bad. Much cheaper than Keto Chow at $4. Um, much cheaper than Wendy's. Much cheaper than Wendy's. So if you want to compare it to Wendy's, don't buy Wendy's. Yeah. But here's two things. Number one, is that going to fill you up? Because that's not going to fill me up. I need at least two burgers. I need two. We usually do two burgers. We put bacon on top of it. We do eggs. So one burger, I can tell you a Keto Chow shake is going to fill me up. That yes. I know. Yes. Okay. More importantly, we're gonna look at, cause we're looking at convenience as well. We gotta go at everything all together. How long did it take you to make this thing? 12 minutes and 45 seconds roughly. And that was, you gotta include the fact that we used a hot pan from making the bacon and eggs and we used the leftover bacon grease from cooking the bacon. So that eliminated a couple of minutes and we still haven't cleaned the pan from cooking this. Well, it was a lot harder on me too because first I had to find a Joe, I had to court a Joe, I had to marry a Joe, and then I had to wait until he was willing to cook all the food for me. Okay, so we have two more comparisons. First comparison is going to be a regular keto meal. So we're gonna go make our keto meat layer lasagna. I'm gonna leave a link for that video right over it's on my really head. Good. 
so we're gonna time. How long does it take to make the entire meat layer lasagna? And then of course, how much does it cost? We're gonna break it down per serving. And then finally, we're gonna compare keto chow to a dessert. Okay, last food comparison. This is our meat layer lasagna. It's yummy. Let's go over cost of this. We only added up the cost of the ingredients in here. So we bought right. ricotta cheese, we only used half of it. I bought the rouse, I only used half of it. So based on what we exactly used, this meal cost $36 to make this. Okay. In addition, that also took us 20 minutes to prepare it, 40 minutes to cook it. So roughly an hour. Not fast. But it does break down to $4.50 per serving. Okay. Let's show what one serving is. This is not a serving? No, this is not a serving. Again, it's gonna be a little bit watery because like lasagna, it always tastes best the next day. It's like keto chow. <laughs> okay. But I will say this, it is a very filling serving. Yeah. Okay, so. I'll take this one. Okay. Let's go over the nutrition on one serving. 634 calories, 52 fat, 52 protein, 4.3 total carbs. Now we are right in the wheelhouse of a keto chow, but again. You have an hour? It took us an hour. <laughs> Here's what we like to do. We like to have a keto chow for lunch and then maybe a double serving of this for dinner or a keto chow for lunch this for dinner and a couple of burgers, something like that. But this takes some serious foresight. This takes some foresight, it takes some time, but it's delicious. It is gonna cost you about the same amount of money as keto chow. So we're gonna eat dinner and then we're gonna hit the last comparison, which is going to be dessert. Okay, before we get to the dessert, we have one more quick comparison, and that's with the Elevation Protein Shake. Because Keto Chow, a lot of people are just like, it's a protein shake. Yeah, and they think like, it's too expensive because you're comparing it to a protein shake. But this is from Aldi, so it's very cheap. 170 calories, four grams of fat, 30 total protein, four grams of carbohydrates, but a laundry list of ingredients. So it's fat, is already in there, but it's only 170 calories. Not much fat either. So you're not gonna be satiated. You're gonna need at least two of them to even equal the calories. Yeah, so you're figuring this is 170 calories, this is 500 calories. So not even two will do. And this is like all of your fat and everything. So figure you're probably gonna to wanna to drink two, but now you're drinking way too much protein. But these do work out to be about $1.75. So this is $1.75, this is about $3.80, but when you double this up to get the volume. We're back in business. You're back in business, but you're getting way too much protein this way. Okay, this is the comparison that we have been waiting for. So what we've got here, we've got a container of Rebel ice cream. We, bought it, we, at, we bought it at Publix. Mm -hmm. $5.99. The only thing is, is this container is, is it th this one is now three, it used to be four. This is three servings. How are we gonna so, split that equal? We're just gonna put this in here. That is three servings right there, okay? Or one. In that angel. three servings. It is 560 calories. 54 total 54 carbs. 54 total carbs. So it is six net carbs, but it is 54 total carbs, and that is not a lot of ice cream. By comparison. <laughs> Here's a keto chow serving. Here is a keto chow serving. The entire container. There is a lot more. Okay, so here you go. This is one serving of keto chow turned into ice cream. This is three servings. Or one serving, right? 560 calories, roughly 560 calories. But 54 total carbohydrates. 54 total carbohydrates. I'm gonna put the exact macros for this ice cream across the bottom because I don't remember off the top of my head. But which would you rather have? I want this is a lot more. And usually what we do is we're gonna split this. But here's the thing. $3.33 if you buy it in the big bag plus less than 50 cents for heavy cream. So we're at, what is that? Less than $4 still. Less than $4, this is $6. This took about 30 minutes to make in the ice cream maker. Make this, it ahead of time, pour in the ice cream maker. This took 30 minutes to thaw out. Right, 
Well, that is gonna be our comparison of Keto Chow. What are your thoughts in the end? My thought is you need to actually compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Like if you're looking at price, you also need to take into account what are you getting for your money? Because you could get cheap things, but it's not gonna have all the things that you need for the day. Right. For me, I'm looking at, are can you eat cheaper than purchasing a Keto Chow? Absolutely. You can eat bacon and eggs and be less money than keto chow. Are you going to get all your nutrition? No. Are you going to get as full? Probably not. So when you break it down, keto chow isn't that expensive. It's just hard to swallow that $70 price tag when you buy a bag. But that bag is 21 meals. You really have to break things down per serving and what am I getting for that serving? Yeah. Now we're not saying eat keto chow for three meals a day. You, you can use it the way we use Keto Chow, which is we like to have a couple of them made. We put them in the back of the refrigerator. They're good for at least a week. And this way, if we're gonna run out, if we have a busy day, instead of like worrying about like having to go to Wendy's and paying $5.99 for like some ridiculous looking burger, you grab a Keto Chow, you're spending half as much money, you're getting a third of all your nutrition, and it tastes better. Because a lot of times people will ask us, is it worth it? And our short answer is yes. But sometimes it takes seeing it laid out in all of the different directions to see why our answer is yes. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be our video for today. If you like seeing different videos about Keto Chow, we have an entire Keto Chow playlist, which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.